Very good morning, brethren. You're most welcome to the Online Church of Uganda Morning Devotion this third day of May 2023. Leading you this morning, I'm Christine Chayonka, and we're going to share on the topic, Judge Not Others. And we'll refer to Romans chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the gift of this new day. We thank you for your mercies which are new every morning, that even when we sin against you in your compassion, you normally relent and give us a chance to repent. Lord, teach us to be patient with others. Teach us to learn where our limits are. Teach us to be obedient to your word. We give you thanks. We give you praise and honor. For we've prayed all this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes, we are taking our scripture reading this morning from Romans chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. And I'm reading from the NIV version, and this is what it says. You therefore have no excuse, you who pass judgment on someone else. For at whatever point you judge the other, you are condemning yourself, because you who pass judgment do the same things. Now, we know that God's judgment against those who do such things is based on truth. So when you, a mere man or woman, pass judgment on them and yet do the same things, do you think you'll escape God's judgment? Or do you show contempt for the riches of his kindness, tolerance and patience, not realizing that God's kindness leads you toward repentance? But because of your stubbornness and your unrepentant heart, you are storing up wrath against yourself for the day of God's wrath when his righteous judgment will be revealed. Brothers and sisters, this is the word of the Lord. This is a tough message, eh? but it's a good warning coming as it does that Paul was talking to the church in Rome and that message speaks to our situations today. When we judge others, Paul tells us, we are storing up judgment for ourselves. We are condemning ourselves. So let us remember, like as you point a finger to somebody, there are other fingers pointing back to you. Is any of us guilty of judging others? Let us reflect, let us meditate, let us repent. Paul is the, the, the writer who actually even reminds us that for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So all of us are sinners, all of us are not righteous. So let us not try to make it appear like we are more righteous than others and therefore are entitled to help God in judging. Vengeance is for the Lord. I was reminded as I was preparing this about Jonah. When God sent Jonah to go and warn the people of Nineveh, at first he didn't want to go there. Eventually he went after the fish experience. But when finally God heard the pleas and the fasting and the prayers of the people of Nineveh, Jonah was very displeased in chapter 4 of Jonah. And he literally quarreled with God why God did not actually pass judgment to these people. But friends, vengeance is for the Lord. It's none of our business. And I like it when James reminds us in James chapter 4, verse 12, and it says, There is only one lawgiver and judge, the one who is able to save and destroy. But you and me, who are you to judge your neighbor? If we love our neighbors, as Jesus gave us as the second greatest commandment, we will have no room and reason to judge others. So the things which cause discontent among us, either it's because we are proud and therefore we are so full of our ego and think that we are better than anybody else, or it's because we are jealous. If we lack the fruit of the Spirit, we are prone to be judgmental. But Paul is cautioning us that whatever judgment we pass on others, we are storing up wrath on ourselves because God watches everything 
and God will definitely put us to account because he judges the living and the dead. For some, he will judge you rightly when we are still here, but for others, it will still come anyway. So let us leave bearing that in mind that whatever we do by way of judging others will come back to us. And if we do understand and recognize that, we'll do well to do the right thing now and just pray, forgive people like Jesus did, to forgive the people who tortured him because he said they did not know what they were doing. But if we take it upon ourselves to be the righteous ones, hey, things are going to backfire. Unfortunately, we will not have time to get back to the mode of repentance. So the time for us to make good and to live well is now. And friends, whenever we read scripture and there are messages that apply even to our situations, may we allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us and may we not brush it away but act on it. If it is repentance that we have to do, let us do it. Because if God did not give us the patience, if God was not compassionate towards us, we would all be torn apart. Because every day we judge. Every day we find fault with others. And as we are doing that, we are making ourselves appear to be the best in everything and everybody else is useless or doesn't know what to do. May the Lord of mercy come to us and help us so that we do not get into that trap of heaping judgment on ourselves. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this reminder that Paul has given us at this time. Give us the opportunity to put right whatever is wrong with us and may we love instead of judging others so that your name may be honored and glorified. In Jesus' name we've prayed with thanksgiving. Amen.